of expectant mothers at the antenatal clinic of the Kolubu Teaching Hospital were left stranded as health authorities insisted on compulsory blood donations from the patients before attending to them. According to reports, health authorities demand two pints of blood from expectant mothers through their relatives or they will not be attended to at the facility. But authorities explain the new directive is to prevent the shortage of blood at the facility. Question that those who actually feel this is very unfair. What do you make of the situation? I would say partially it's fair because if they don't have the blood installed, then that means that relatives coming to donate blood will help uh, save the life of their relative but sometimes they have some of the uh, they have uh, blood at the bank so if they have blood at the bank they they're supposed to uh, uh, take uh, what save the life before they talk about anything it's not a fair policy because maybe for now for now they have to try and maybe do some form of education like they should use the various media outlets they say joy for instance they can use joy and other media outlets too to educate people on how, like, on, like Ghanaians even have this perception about blood donation. I think they should educate people on the good side of blood donation and everything so that the pregnant mothers can get their relatives or close people to donate blood for them. We need to put in systems that will make blood donation a fun as well as a civic responsibility. Men at the stage of delivery who require blood. That is not a time that uh, families would want to go around. They must do it. But the person is so vulnerable. If it's the pregnant mother, she may pull a string here or a string there, you know, but she's so vulnerable at that time. There should be a certain uh, safe flow of blood for such vulnerable people and then the the bargain is that when you are out of it kindly arrange so that the blood is replaced those are some comments from the streets a lot more of your comments are on facebook let's check them out Araba. So Francis the Gia writes, interesting, the normal practice is they are given up to the day they deliver to donate a pint. So when needed, it will be transfused onto them. This, uh, to use this to deny them antenatal service is bad. They shouldn't use the acute shortage of the blood bank to frustrate our expectant mothers, uh, who many may not even use the donated blood. And by Jeremiah writes, I want to believe that the directive didn't cover some exceptional cases. If it was, then it wasn't the best because life lost cannot be recovered. Achieving MDG 5 is a must-achieve goal and nothing untoward from any stakeholder holder towards that goal uh, will be tolerated. And uh, Kwesi Boating Ayipa writes, the time to encourage voluntary blood donation is now. And I totally agree with you, 100, Kwesi. Until the citizenry brace the attitude of donating blood, some of these issues will occur. We should donate to avoid this situation and stop the lip service. And Kwesi Boatayepa says, um, Joey B, I think Joey B is there. Joby says, hmm, I think normally the patients are given blood, then they later replace it or pay for it later, but I don't think it's appropriate to deny expectant mothers health care due to uh, lack of blood. Mm. Hashtag life over everything. And Sebastian says, I think it's better to go out of the hospital and seek for donors other than punishing these vulnerable women who may need immediate attention. Those are very interesting comments on Facebook.